Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing so well and feeling great. If you see me for the first time, I am Gladon here. I make fashion content. I do a lot of haul videos, how to style lookbook. So if you know you love this sort of content, do not hesitate to subscribe and switch on your notification bell. And don't forget to give this video guys a massive thumbs up. As you can tell from the title of this video that we'll be talking about fashion mistakes. So basically some of these um, mistakes I have done myself perhaps you have done yourself but everything that I want to be talking here is just from my own personal experience it's just me giving my opinion please just take this opinion with a pinch of salt and don't take it too wholeheartedly so I don't want to offend anybody just keep watching and let's get right into it the first fashion mistake I will be sharing with you guys this has happened to me so many times not knowing to dress for my body type is the first thing in here because I really did suffer from that because when I was teenagers when I was still like in Nigeria I have sisters that sister used to do the clothes shopping and her body type was different from mine she was a bit more like on a rounded side compared to me then I tried putting on her trousers he didn't really flatter me and sometimes I see that people will be putting on like all these tights with uh, crop top and I tried doing the same and it didn't really honestly it did not really flatter me with time I honestly understood that it is nice to dress for your body type to know the point the flattery point because I used to get a lot of compliments about oh my god you look so skinny and tall you are a model you are this you are this but I didn't really know how to dress for that body. You could be even, you could be plus size, you could be mid size, any size at all. Just look for the your fissure in your body and really work with that and really sort of dress to your shape. You could be like um, our shape, you could have like a broader shoulder, any type of shape that you are, just know how to really flatter the point, the best feature in your body. Just know how to dress for your body shape goes a long way. It will make you look fabulous. It will make you look elegant. It will just make you look right. It's trying to dress to impress other people. That should not be the norm. It shouldn't be the thinking at all behind uh, fashion. The thing is that you should dress to impress yourself. You should dress for yourself. You should be confident in, in what you're putting on. And you should dress for you. You know, you don't just dress. You don't buy clothing or shoes just to because, oh, I'm going out today. I want to be seen in this kind of thing. I want to be like this. That's just like a wrong mentality. Whenever you put on your clothes or you dress up with your makeup, just know that it's from yourself and it's something that makes you happy. You're doing it for yourself. You're not trying to please other people. You're not dressing a certain way just to please other people. I think maybe we've done this one once or twice in our lifetime, but it's a total wrong uh, idea. It's always nice to dress for yourself, to look your best, to, you know, you look your best for your best. You pamper yourself for your best. You do everything for yourself. So trying to impress other people is a no-no. It's like, a fashion mistake that I have done before and I refuse to do it buying things just because other people are buying it they're wearing it you have to kind of buy it to impress them no 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 that is a very bad bad mentality and I try not to do that anymore whenever I'm going anywhere anything that the spirit leads me to put on honestly that is what I put on just for myself you know it's another fashion mistake that I'll be talking about this one that I'm going to talk about I think most of us honestly speaking we are guilty of this one <laughs> I think most of us, we are honestly guilty, you know, especially the ladies in the house. When we buy stuff and we don't take them back, <laughs> we were like, oh, that thing is so cute, but I've picked it in the wrong size and you don't honestly want to take it back. You'll be thinking, oh my God, no, I think I can wear it to this place. I can keep it. I can keep that. But at the end of the day, that thing that we've picked, that we've, we've thought that we're going to... Um, we're going to keep or we're going to use to that place it does not work it does not fit it does not do anything why bother keeping it sometimes i will look at my wardrobe i'm just like i can't believe i wish i knew i should have kept it at that point the 28 days that they've given me in the shop has expired so i end up giving it to the charity shop 
<laughs> I think this, I think a lot of us, we are absolutely guilty of this stuff. So now I really, really try. If some things, if things doesn't fit me to the T, it doesn't really flatter me, even though I like it on other people or da da da, I take it back, you know, bam. Another look, another fashion mistake that I will be talking about. I am honestly guilty of this one. I would definitely put my hands up. And uh, this actually came across the other day. I think I was reading it like a magazine and I saw it. I was just like, yeah, Mogbe, I am dead. This is absolutely me. Because I create like YouTube videos here, yeah? sometimes I intend to buy things again and again and again. Why? Why do you want to buy things again and again? You have like a beige uh, jumper, for example. You have like a white shirt already. You have like a white t-shirt. Why do you keep just buying again and again? Because maybe the style might be altered a little bit. You'll be thinking, oh my God, that is so cute. I really want this one. It doesn't make sense. So when I saw this art article and I was just reading it, it was just like that light bulb moment. Something just went ping on my head. I was just like, oh my goodness, this is me. I am honestly so guilty. So the next point I have on my book here is jumping on trends so i enjoy trendy fashion before i used to heavily jump on trends you know you see this one is out i want to jump on the wagon i want to be seen on this trend i want to do this i want to do even some handbag you want you must be seen with some sort of handbag but thank god for dupes at the moment because sometimes i don't want to spend my like three thousand pound buying expensive high-end uh, bag for example like this jackimus little bag that is everywhere at the moment this is just like a trendy bag maybe like in five years time or in two years time nobody wants to be carrying i don't know i'm just saying example you know those little teeny ones i think they were very on last year and this year pff, i don't know i don't know where that bag has gone now because that bag can't fit it i think it could only fit your bubble gum your chewing gum that's it but it was so trendy that everybody was just like jumping on it so i used to jump on trends a lot but now i try not to heavily jump on trends some trends i jump on because i really like and i like to jump on trends that uh probably i really want to enjoy maybe i could go to like um high street brand and buy and just enjoy it the only problem with jumping on trend too much to be honest with you you don't really develop your personal style so that's why too much trend i would say is not good i used to honestly jump on trend so since i start limiting it i'm looking for my style i develop my own personal style explore what you already have in your wardrobe you could still be buying trends trendy stuff but not as much have your like your basic wardrobe and just build on it and just create your own sort of um, your personal style if you see what i mean and you know another fashion mistake that i will be talking about here is shoes i have bought some i have bought some wrong shoes in my life that after buying them those shoes will be like hurting like they will be like killing me i'll be thinking why did I have actually spend my dying money to buy these shoes? Those are those long slettos because I am 5'10 tall and I see some people putting on some really nice shoes. I'll be thinking, oh my God, I could honestly pull that off. Then I will buy them. Some of them, they're so pointed, which is absolutely wrong for our feet to be wearing all the time. Then I'll be like, oh my God, I have to pull these shoes on. I was just like, they are the most uncomfortable thing. You know, you go to, you go out, you call me back, your leg is doing like this because you can't walk properly on those shoes. You can't, I don't, but now I think I only have, oh, how many? I think I only have like two or three heels just for the sake of it. But I tell you what, they're not high at all. They're more like that now because I cannot come and kill myself. See, it's pain, there's pain in beauty or whatever, how they say it. But you know what? I just refuse to have that pain with my beauty. I like comfy now. Comfortable things is what I honestly go for these days. <laughs> so the next point I'll be talking about, I think most of us, we are so guilty of this one. We are so guilty. But this year, because I've thought about it so much that I have actually put like a acceleration, I've put a break to that is buying too many things on sales. I try not to buy a lot of things on sales because at the end of the day, yeah, you are still spending that money. You are still spending the money. You are still buying a lot of clothes in your wardrobe, just dumping it in your wardrobe, probably clothes that 
you're not going to return clothes that you're not going to wear clothes that doesn't mean anything clothes that will not flatter flatter you clothes that will just be there you know because it's cheap you just want to buy it nya, nya, nya. ah i would just like this year i am not hunting before you will see me i've gone to zara i've gone to this i've gone to that trying to look for that bargain but i just know you know what no i'm not doing it i'm not buying say 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 sometimes you buy this says everywhere is covered of clothes shoes are everywhere instead you could save your money you could buy something a bit more up up market that you could use for a long time well, i do a lot of haul videos on my channel but i try to look for things that are a bit more sustainable i look for materials that are breathable i look for things that are nice like some really classy outfit that i can use to pair what i already have in my wardrobe not just buying for the sake of buying just going to sales and just keep spending money so i really really try to avoid sales when i can another fashion uh, mistake i'll be talking about is not building my staples wardrobe do you know what i mean about that it's just buying random thing not thinking before buying just buying different things into my wardrobe so since i start doing youtube really start creating fashion content my thinking honestly has completely changed i used to just buy so many things like i would just buy this because i've seen it in the show and the price is okay i would just buy 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 at the end of the day there's no structures there's nothing not building a really good um staple wardrobe was just like I, something i regret now but thank god i'm beginning to work on my wardrobe i'm doing fashion content as well it helps me to actually alleviate my wardrobe in this area so i will tell you this is always good to see them sit down look at your wardrobe have a good think about what about your wardrobe like how do you want to build your wardrobe the basic like the not too fancy things the fancy things how do you compare how do you mash and wear how do you you know it really really helps me it's really really nice thinking so that you don't just buy things for buying sake i wish i knew this ago or i pay attention to my clothing i don't think i would have spent a lot of money on my clothes that i'm spending now trying to re kind of rebuild my wardrobe the way i want it and i'm still learning in this department i am still building i'm still doing like research and i'm still sort of doing it gradually you don't just go boom on it you have to just take your time to do it so this is one fashion mistake i definitely said you know what your girl here she has made so another fashion mistake i'm going to talk about here is trying to look too perfect do you know when you're going out your hair must absolutely be dead perfect your makeup has to be like heavy you every your jewelry like heavy jewelry heavy necklace there's no just trying to be perfect sometimes that perfect perfect spoils everything you know what i would say i used to honestly make this mistake and it would take me forever to get dressed and just things like that but now what i have developed for myself i usually go with natural hair so i sort of know where i stand with my hair so when it comes to makeup as well i love minimal uh, makeup i don't like heavy make makeup so some people they try to be so perfect you see the makeup i'm not trying to criticize anybody by the way it's so cakey it's so heavy you know this is what the french lady they do so perfectly as if they have not put any effort in their look in the on their hair or makeup anything like that they just look absolutely perfect minimalistic always goes a long way minimalistic is priceless is chic is classy when it comes to jewelry so trying to build that perfect perfect look sometimes does not always work hard so just try to be less i don't know how to say it is just try to be as neutral as classy i think that is the point that you should be aiming for that fashion mistake i'll be talking about putting too many colors wearing too many color at once please guys hold this with a pinch of salt i have done that before before i didn't follow the three rule combination thing or three rules or four rule combination no i did not follow that before but now i try to really make my outfit really simple really easy to combine now but yeah but you see some people my goodness you don't even know the color of rainbow again because they will put all these outfits all on you'll be thinking oh what the color the co i know that 
don't get me wrong that's why i say hold this with a pinch of song i'm not trying to to put anybody down with this video at all but i think it will be easier if you want to look classy if you want to look polished elegant let me put it this way yeah too many color doesn't really cut it it's a little bit tricky at that point instead of it to look that polish it, what it will be giving you it will be giving you that tacky look and that is one thing that you do not want again when it comes to fashion you wear anything that makes you happy that is the biggest rule do you understand what i mean that is it as long as you can pull it off that is what matter but what i'm trying to say if you want to get a certain look this is what i'm trying to say it's just like dressing maybe turn it down the color a little bit it might kind of land you in another sort of destination which is more of a glamorous polish so look. the next point i'm going to be talking about is a grooming session like it's always nice to if you want to look fabulous you want to have like a good fashion style you want to be outstanding when it comes to your fashion you want to look perfect it's always nice to keep on with the grooming like if you know like every week or every month you you do your hair it's always nice to just continue but i've got two kids that i'm running after sometimes i don't have that chance so it's a part that i would love to improve on when i have a bit more time you know when you put your outfit on and you groom your hair is lovely your face is looking nice you've done your face shows nice makeup you will look absolutely poly because it ties the old look the fashion look together so i would definitely emphasize on this one so that is the end of the video i absolutely enjoying this video so i am doing this video yeah i am asking myself which part are you guilty of you know nobody is perfect with all these things i'm doing this video yeah it's not because of like oh my goodness i just do the right thing all the time that is not the point of this video this is just like a common fashion mistake that we should be thinking about and we should be changing right now this is the essence of this video and it really sort of questioned me as well it kind of questioned my buying habits too so i just love it i've had fun creating it if you had fun watching it please do not hesitate to give this video a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are a lover of fashion and i will see you guys in either my whole video my styling video my lookbook anyway i will see you guys in my next one remain blessed stay positive and bye bye for now bye